Clampies, a balance. Which way do we want to be fucked up today? <laughs> Clamping skulls. Balancing people back to nothing. I think whichever one we should we do, we should do the other one later in the day. That's what I think. Balance is fun. Balance is hot. The Clampies. <laughs> it is the Clampies. Some people in chat are telling me to balance. Some are telling me to skull clamp. What do I listen to? What do, which do I do? Everyone's got to let their voice be known. And then I'll draft a bonehead Dracosaur, right? Is that the, <laughs> the only fitting resolution? <laughs> Dogfish wants to hear the bonehorn. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to draft. I'll do this. No, I don't want to meet Shady Rays. Fuck you. Oh, some Sumerlands. I heard Sumerlands has, like, a lot of the same uh, members as Eternal Champion. It's, like, three of the same band members. Kind of sweet. I like Solitude a lot. Smuggler's Copter is a good way to stay open. That's a clampable. Let's take Solitude. Now that we know what Headliner Scarlet does, maybe that's the pick. Or maybe you just take Spellbinder and just like stay in your lane. Ooh. A little Moxie Woxie. Oh, no, no. Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb. There's Retrofitter and Esper Sentinel here, too. Balance is more likely to wield and clamp. That doesn't that doesn't matter even a little bit, Marcus Crombie. They're both directions. Skull clamp and balance. They're directions. And the direction that I go with skull clamp is not gonna want to balance. <laughs> the balance will wheel and it'll be like, okay, pass it along, you know, it's not it's not going in this deck. Hell yeah, Red Eye. Yeah, a few people were talking about it being a, a three day weekend. I don't even know what kind of day it's gonna be. And with all your days off, you're going to come hang out with me while I draft Vintage Cube, right? 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 Huh? Huh? I went live at 2 today. I want to go live at 2 tomorrow as well. And then again on Tuesday, which will be the last day of Vintage Cube for this season. And then there'll be two weeks without Vintage Cube, and then Vintage Cube comes back, I believe. <laughs> yeah. A long break. A mighty break. I mean, um. <coughs> I'm going to take Fractured Identity over Wandering Emperor. Workshops is always tempting. It's like calling to me. If we go on balance, we'd be workshopping for sure. Hell yeah, Blue String. Uh, sure. I'll draft this thing. Little Evangelist action. Oh, there's Seacrome here, though. Evangelist seems really good with Clamp, but we do have this Ancient Tomb. I want the Seachrome to make the Fractured a little bit free. Oh, yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll, it'll work out. It'll work out. Promise. Trust. Thunder incoming. Yeah, right? We'll find something. We'll find something. Balance wheel. Yeah, but it, it like, again, it doesn't matter. Like, if I wanted to draft a deck around balance, I would start with it to, like, ensure that it's there. Because it'll be, like, the most important card in my deck. It doesn't matter whether it's, like, likely to wheel or not. And fuck these ads in the ass! Ah, oh, fuck off! Oh, shut up! Hey, I, I, I'm sorry. Oh, sweet, what up? <laughs> that's my that's my expression. Not the not the, the weird, hurtful thing that came out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, shit, what up, iPod Odd? Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the eight months. I appreciate you. Thanks for supporting the stream. Lingering Souls and Clamp is a thing. I don't know if I want to play Silent Clearing in my Ancient Tomb deck, but it's certainly a thing, huh? It's an option. We'll keep it there as an option. We already did Black White Sewer. This looks more aggressive, though. Less disrupty, more aggressive. No, I put on. No! <laughs> I was yelling at the ads! What if we ended up Esper Beats? Played some Snorse action. 
mind twist again. We do have that workshop. Some mono white workshop beats. There's a talisman in the metamorph here. Talisman could fit into either deck, right? Whether we play the workshop or not, it could work out. I think I'm just supposed to grab Thalia. And have Thalia be annoying. Could take a fetch. Just Austin. It's a little boring. Let's take Flicker Wisp. Giver, Skydiver, Colonnade all options. I'm going to take the Colonnade here. Make sure I get it. Oh, there's the Tundra. There's also Parallax Wave. I've died to Parallax Wave so many times. It's in a pack with Council's Judgment, though. I wonder if I'm going to wheel one of those. Let's take the Tundra. Pack Fraction also wins games, you know, right? Oh, this is just not the pack for me. When I first saw that this was supposed to be a dog, it was just like, what? <laughs> Have they seen a dog in their lives? Some people claim that all dogs are good boys. They have not seen Scrapwork Mutt. Terrible, terrible dog. Lori Revealed's almost interesting. I think I like the Sarah Paragon. Luris is an option. I don't know if it's a good option. I'll take the flyer. Ooh, a little bit of that action. I once knew a family that um, had a, had taken in a dog that had been mistreated, and it was really aggressive. Like, it would attack anybody that entered the home. And I was just like, could you put your dog away while I'm here, please? And the response was, if we put the dog away, then how will it learn to like you? <laughs> I could not express... How little I cared if this dog <laughs> grew to like me. <laughs> I just it was so low on my list. This dog's like chewing into my fucking shoe because I've got I've got my leg up to like hold it away so it doesn't bite me. <laughs> it's just tearing into my shoe. I'm like, I don't that's not a thing that I that that is a <laughs> please put your dog away. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. And even that, like, obviously was not the dog's fault, right? It was the, the people that raised it and, and people that were currently taking care of it. Mm, but my god. I don't think we need the Triome. Man, no Moxin, huh? Let's grab a Lauren. Note that the Parallax Wave did not come back to us, unfortunate. We did get the Council's Judgment, but the wave would have been a little, a little hotter, a little bit more exciting. Oh, maybe Arid Mace is good. My adversary is a solid card, though. Another Anthem effect here. Not very welcoming of me. It was really not Eric. I was being a bad guest, I guess. <laughs> Sam's kind of cute with Solitude. I'm not high on Sam in general, but it's good with Solitude. And it's good with Parallax Wave. Yeah, I guess I grab it here. Is Sam a good boy? Jesus Christ! Is the more a, a more condescending thing to call a, to call a human to call a hobbit? I think I take this blade splicer. Another thing for the flickerist to blink. Mother of runes action, huh? Might help with our zero one drops at all. I like the staff a lot, but I'm going to take Hull Breacher there. Hmm. Yeah, we need another playable or two. Wouldn't hate if they were one drops. Another Timeless Dragon deck. A little bit less aggressive than Scale Lord, but I think it fits the White Splash a little better. Underground Sea could let us splash Lingering Souls, huh? Huh? Eh? 
Is there a world where I board this in? I don't think so. Counter target spell with double bloom. God damn it, we're black white sewer again. Kind of like on Earth here, like I might even play it. There is Dark Slick Shores in the sideboard. I don't think we have enough uh, black cards to justify it. On the ground, sea is a little bit better, right? I'm not sure about the life loss on Silent Clearing either. I think I just don't play the Unearth. Cool that Shadowy Backstreet can be fetched up with Aired Mesa. I want a little bit of filtering. This is like six ish blue sources already for three cards. That's pretty good. Could play one more blue source. Point took a mole on the plane. Got our second white source for Flicker Wisp. If I ripped a Chrome Mox here, I would just imprint the souls and just go turn two Blade Splicer. Get that started sooner. Opponent in the tank. What do, opponent? They've been the coveted jewel. I wonder if they're playing cat combo. Some people just like this card. I usually want kind of a specific deck for it, but to each their own. Thalia seems like it could be real here. I don't know if I'd take a turn off of Blade Splicing to Thalia. That's worth thinking about. Hmm. We think they're sealing up. Oh shit, what up? Hey Dane's man nine, thanks for the sub, thanks for 41 months. Balance would be pretty good for them here. I don't know if you seal for balance. I would seal for balance. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna play the Thallium, hope it works out. Little bit more pressure if you play the Blade Splicer. Yeah, ideally when they played that Imperial Seal, they were planning around using all their mana, hum. And the Thalia is just like a Time Walk Plus. Ancient Tomb off the top will let me Blade Splicer and hold up Sam. That'd be kind of good. Let me just fire off Sam. You think they Imperial Sealed for Night's Whisper? There's like no way, right? All right, Evangelist has got to be my fastest clock. I think that's just repping lethal hum. Sick. So we didn't see anything to dismember, but that doesn't mean that we should cut dismember. It doesn't mean they have no creatures in their whole deck, right? I wonder if Malcolm should be in. You don't know what they sealed for? I think it was the Knight's Whisper. I think they just wanted cards. You're going to MDF on Wednesday and you always forget to pack something. What's one thing you always forget? Is MDF an airport? Hmm. 
Hmm. I usually pack pretty light. Sometimes I forget a toothbrush and I have to buy one of those like little shitty ones. You know the ones I'm talking about? You get them in the airport, they're like... <laughs> it's like a toothbrush that's like slides inside of another toothbrush. Or it slides inside of its little like case thing, so it's travel light thing. Possible I should just be clamping this turn. Oh, Maryland Death Fest. Yeah, no. Yeah, I've done a lot of traveling. I've not done a lot of forgetting. Sometimes I forget my glasses. Because I just got those within like the last year or so. Or the show specifically, sometimes I forget my earplugs. I try to keep them in my, my battle vest, though. My earplugs. I just always have them. Nose plugs? Oh, I don't need those. That's what the battle vest is for. The battle vest gives me a nice shield of odor. And then I don't have to smell anybody else. Battle vest is just a vest with a bunch of band patches on it. In fact, it's no fiction. You'll see them in some metal shows. Some They're more popular in some genres than others. And some punk shows. I had a conversation uh, on Friday with another guy who had like just started his. He hadn't like fully done it yet, but he was really excited to talk about patches and stuff. Very wholesome. Oath of Druids, terrifying. And the Mesa can get a blue source for this colonnade. We'll see what they managed to oath up, um. The Caleb D haircut. Oh, I don't know. I don't know when I'll get my haircut next. It is coming up though, for sure. The shield dude's got death touch, so there's no reason to double pump there. I think I'm killing my solitude and just draw two. Hmm. Where do you source patches from? So most bands sell them directly. Bands and labels and stuff. And then um, sometimes you can go f find them by rooting around online.
It'd be nice if I could imprint something on Chrome Mox to get the mother down here too, but I think this is good. Your battle jacket's very mainstream stuff, but that's what you like. Oh yeah. Nothing wrong. Putting mainstream bands on there. You don't think Emmy's that scary? I think it's a little scary. Six permanence is a few. What outs do we have? I think our best out is figuring out a way to kill them. That's what I'm trying to do over here. Oh, you would have um, flicker the uh, Glimmer Lens instead of the um, Evangelist. That's probably better. Get a 2-2 instead of a 1-1. If they hadn't found a flyer, though, if they hadn't found a flyer with Emmercolm, then maybe there's something to having more, more stuff in the air. So there's Tutor for something. And then snap it with Teferi. What do you think they tutored up? And it's a counter spell. That's gonna be awkward. But you're still dead, right? You got another plan? All right, cool. <laughs> oh, shit, what up? Hey, punish your dumper. Thanks for the resub. Thanks for the seven months. Happy cube, indeed. All right, Bjork and Pork. May I play my land? Can we play magic? Oh, they mold to five. They were doing stuff. They were making decisions. I shouldn't be rushing them. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe I was supposed to play Skydiver out in the back street. And Chrome Mox imprint the Blade Splicer to play the Skydiver. And then next turn I'd for sure have Umazawa's equip mana. Might have been better. My god, would it have been better? Well, let's hit the land. See? Perfect. Easy. Tarmogoyf. That's a real one. Not blocking seems non-optimal. Non Last turn? Well, then they wouldn't have had a creature for natural order here, huh? Fair enough. Yeah, some people don't like this card, and they're like, oh, it's so falling off, it's not good in Vintage Cube. I'm just like, okay, all right. Cards to win theme, some. They see, like, they see a wheel in a strong pack once, and they're like, oh, man, it's so washed. In Modern, there's a lot of checks for it in Modern. 
I think it would mostly just irritate Stoneforge Mystic Tanks. <laughs> It gets removed by Windfall Primus. Yeah, that's valid. Losing to Umazawas, simply natural order your remaining green creature and find Windfall Primus. Saga fetchable. I was really surprised at uh, how good those lava boots were when I was playing with them. I'd have lava boots in my vintage cube. Man, does that fucking cube need an update? How's it going, Bjorka Pork? Got a lot to think about over there. Should we look at spoilers? We can do that. Brood Scale's a new one. Whenever one or more 1-1 one -one counters are put on Brood Scale, you create a 0-1 one, one colorless spawn beside this creature at a colorless. So if you can just load this thing up with counters, huh? Spray spawns into play. Oh, looks like my opponent's back. I haven't seen Petrifying Medley, though. I'm going to read it real quick. Four and a blue for Devoid. Cast a spell and tap up to one target creature and put a stun counter on it. Reach. Reach is a blue thing? How many blue reach creatures are there? I mean, I know it's Devo no colorless, but come on, it costs blue. It's a blue card. Yeah, the cast trigger part's cool. Pack one, pick one, Skull Clamp doing something there, huh? Doing a little sum sum. Not the most important card we played that game, but still quite good. I wonder if Skydivers should have come out after last game. We just like saw no artifacts, is all. Flyers are good, and Flyers are good against green, but we could have played, um,. Like Malcolm instead, for example. Hmm, interesting. This is a little troubling because I can't run out the my flyer on two here. That'd be a really good way to pressure Kaido otherwise. I think it's gonna be like binning dragon. Yeah. Yeah, not ideal. I guess Flicker Wisp on three to kill the ninja is reasonable. And then you have a three one that can just clear the Kaido. So they get some value out of it, but it's not like GG. I dig that. We can we can bin the dragon, go get Tundra here. One's got a lot of colors. How bad is Mother serving at the Kaido? Pretty bad, right? I'm just gonna pass. Because the Flicker Wisp can fucking just straight up eat it next turn. I kinda like making the Dragon next turn. I think it's better than putting the Paragon out. Oh wow, pick your poison. <laughs> pick your poison to kill my Flicker Wisp. That's fucked. Can't mom that, um. Well, all the Flicker Wisp is in the bin. I wonder if Paragon's better than Dragon. Opponent just looted away Abrupt Decay. Hmm. The deck looks very different this game, doesn't it? It's 
a lot of mana. Sure. Interesting that they didn't tap the peatland there. Right? It's a little interesting. This might be a bad solitude, but it feels good. If they were leaving on a fatal push, it's like kind of an awkward solitude because it turns on the fatal push and then they can kill the hell breacher before damage. Save the brawl arm. Uptick Kaido into the hull breacher, give my opponent a treasure. Not a line I would have seen, but I'll take it. Just took away my treasure engine. Yeah, sure to boom. The loyalty could have mattered. Natural order for Omnath. I don't know if I've seen that one before. This hull breacher is doing so much. <laughs> this hull breacher is so good. I don't think the ult does much for me with Kaido, but I'm going to keep drawing right. You don't think Thalia is amazing against them, but it's 2 1. Yeah, I don't think that the ravine matters very much. I'm just gonna fire off Sam. Couldn't play the Glimmer Ven lens last turn because of the uh, Thalia, of course. It's okay, Sir Barrington. You're still the ring bear in my heart. You got it. The Kaido has ended. GG's. Hey, we're 2-0 with this? I wasn't super confident in this deck, but... Sometimes why Weenie just gets there, huh? Mostly the lack of one drops. Is the, is the main thing I was concerned about. The single mother of runes. Been playing out well, though. Haven't been steamrolled by anybody. I almost like this hand on the draw. Turn one ancient tomb out. Umazawas, Rebel White Source, play Spellbinder, equip, win. If you don't rip that White Source, though, that's kind of rough, huh? Reasonable looking five. Solid chance I have to clamp mom, but worst things have happened. Do I plan on clamping mom? Do I go like, oh, I guess, yeah, no, let's let's run around. You can play the, the skull clamp turn one here and the next turn go mother of runes equip. 
which is better against some stuff. It's better against like sorcery removal. Certainly better against a Ren and Six Ping if that's what they have. God damn it! That's so bad for me. But there's a solid chance they end up being more aggressive, right? And then you like want to keep the Mother of Runes around. You don't want to clamper at all. As Renin Six just really destroys my <laughs> five card hand over here. I'm waiting so I can play plus equip something next turn. Too bad the 3 3 doesn't stay an artifact, huh, for Lauren? Interesting hand. Oh, they want, just wanted something for FTK to kill. Sure. And the Ren just pings Flicker Wisp, but at least we're like getting some of their pressure off the board. It's two turns of Oko activations. If we land the next turn, we can lure in the food token and run out Sanguine. Kind of try and overload the Ren. One's gonna flash an endurance here for five mana, I think. A little weak to Ren. We are a little weak to Ren, that's true. Not much I can do about that. I don't think I can attack. It'd be nice to attack the Ren. But then, like, Doomzawa's counters trade with the Flame Tongue Kabu count. Um, and we take three and we die. And we just have to pass here. Pretty uncomfy. I'm just dead anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, either way, dead. Was a beating? It was. Yeah, we needed that council's judgment way earlier. Or them not to have a Ren and Six. Ren and Six just cleared my hand. Very unfortunate. I think about cutting Spellbinder for Preaching. Might be an overreaction. I'd have to get some black sources in the deck. The mana base becomes worse, which is unpleasant. So this is like seven black sources if you count Timeless Dragon, which is awkward too, right? If you're bringing in Bronco. I'm just trying to have fewer X1s is all. Oh, Scholar should be in. Scholar should be in for shame. If we go to do a game three, we'll make that swamp. Cut Sam or something. Oh, 
Wish it went up. Hey, Charlie Destrike thinks that's 69 months. Nice. Yeah, we naturally hit our third land here. And this is this is part of the reason you can't really count Timeless Dragon in with your mana base. They would just let us slam a three, and that, wouldn't that be pleasant? Yeah, we're just gonna bin dragon for a surveil land, I guess. Cool. Looks like endurance to me. No play. Interesting. Yeah, Nimble Obstruction is not in... Obstructionist is not in the cube. Black Lotus is a ritual. Seven mana. Channel? Okay. Don't love that for me. Let's fire off the Skull Clamp so we don't have to discard here. Well, we have to discard one less card that this way. And then I think I'm actually going to bin the back street. Maybe Mazawa's hum. It's a little clunky if my plan is to turn to Thalia. They might, they might, something they might do is just slam Ren onto though. There were opportunities for them to play Ren in the mid game. They didn't. Would have made the channel better. Yeah, I might end up regretting that. Could have been Sarah Paragon instead. Now the plan is to Blade Splicer and Flicker with Blade Splicer and hope that's reasonable. Oh, buy Hull Reacher. Yeah, Hull Reacher is very good against Time Twister and um, Upheaval because you can float and then flash in the, the, the Hull Breacher. It just didn't quite line up. I was not expecting Black Lotus Channel when we hadn't seen either of those cards yet. Hmm. Hull Breacher in response to Twister would have been so good. We saw the Twister in their hand in the game one, too. And then we actually had the Hull Breacher. Just didn't line up. Real unfortunate stuff. I just about to be mana drained again. I want to get a flyer down. It is brutal. I could be spending this turn like clamping splicer and trying to sand back the sand back. To be down to five, and suddenly Dismember starts looking awkward. That is not what I was hoping to see. And they still have Mana Drain Man up. I don't think we can beat a Mana Drain, which is unfortunate. Like, I think I just have to play into it and lose.
I think I should have attacked the Oko there, actually. Yeah, it looks pretty good. GG's. Next! Always another draft. Always more magic.